Hello and welcome to another video on my channel and in this video I want to talk about the almost Eurasian winners, the runner-ups. They participated in the Eurasian Song Contest and usually they were big favorite, big favorites to win. And they almost won only one contestant ended up better and won this whole contest and brought it to his, her or their home country. But the runner-ups are also really great and memorable as well, so I want to give them the attention as well. So here is my reaction to the runner-ups of the contest from 1957 to 2019. And why not 1956? Well, that's just because in 1956, the first year of the contest, by the way, they only announced the winner, but not the res the complete results. They only said, okay, the winner is Switzerland, but well, the rest isn't published. So here we go, the runner-ups from 1956 to 2019. And I don't know who's runner-up, so I never watched runner-up videos, only the winners. Okay. France. Liz Asia, in her second year, two years after her victory, the runner-up, Giorgio, I remember, I listened to this, but not the full version, but I heard it, same as this, UK. This is good. Oh, one up, UK. Good voice. Not my music, but oh, this is good. This whisper. And another year, UK second. <laughs> Title, are you sure? Imagine they want to vote for you and then like they say, are you sure? And like, okay. Shouldn't I? <laughs> Delia from Monaco. Monaco is the hope. The, mon the victory for Monaco, now also the second place for Monaco. It's the inspiration why San Marino is even participating in the Eurasian. This is this is what I this is what I always think about it. They like okay, Monaco won, so we can do this too. <laughs> Probably not, but it would be funny. Switzerland. Really successful in their early years of Eurasian. They won once and two second places in not even ten years, so Really impressive. Okay, here we don't even have the video, only the... UK again second. Good voice. Oh, Sweden second, 1966. I didn't know that they ended up second once. I only heard that thought that they won six times and a couple of third places. So second place wouldn't be even their first second place. So oh, Ireland. Ireland second place, UK won and Ireland second, in Vienna, Austria, 
If I Could Choose is the song title. Oh, I remember this. This is a classic. Cliff Richard, congratulations, and I love it. The first song I really love that ended up second. I don't know who won here, but. Switzerland. This is the year when four countries split the win. France, Netherlands, Spain and UK and then Switzerland. You can also call it a fifth place in my opinion, but hey, second is okay. UK. Knock knock who's there. Okay. Song with the title like this wouldn't work this time, I would say. It wouldn't work in 2020. <laughs> but obviously, I mean, it's from the 70s, so it's out of the time. Luxembourg? Oh no, UK? I only saw Luxembourg and was like, okay. This is a good song from the UK. Spain won. No, they didn't win. Second place again. Beautiful melody. Cicciliona, Cicciliola Cincetti, okay. If anyone from Italy watches this video right now, please let me know how to pronounce this. The song is called C and Sweden won. Upper. And the song is good, by the way. I don't want to give the attention to the name of the artist. The song is good as well from Italy, so I am okay with this, even if I don't know the other contestants, so Shadows from the UK Okay, the UK. Okay, uh, their haircuts, we can see this really like 70s. And the song, uh, I don't think. I mean, this is also like this time. It's good! It's good! Okay, the first is well in victory, and Belgium was the one up. Shaw Valdi. L'amour ça fait chanter la vie. Love it makes life sing. Love it makes love sing in this way. So. <laughs> Su canción. Okay. I love this instrumental. Katja Epstein Theater. Theater. I, of course, I know this as a German. This is one of the best German entries ever from the result. And, I mean, of course. I don't think it would work in 2020, but it was good back then. Same as Johnny Blue. This is even better, I would say. Or no, I don't know. It's good, but I don't know if it's better than theater. Okay, and then Germany won after two times being second. And Israel 
second in 1982 with Avi Toledano. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, as well, second time in the warm up in a row, like Germany. This is good as well. Is it the same bay and band? I think so. Linda Martin. Stupid question. Isn't she one of the European winners from Ireland? Or am I wrong? Didn't I thought she won in one year. Probably she returned to the contest later and won. Or earlier, but think she won or do I exchange something right now wind from Germany für alle peaceful zone I would say Switzerland Contest to place in Bergen in Norway. Daniela Simons. Papuma. Not for me. Oh. Wind again second from Germany. This is good. I know this as a quote. Last season in my head. And I knew it was a song as well, and that was a duration, but I did not listen to it. Okay. Scott Fitzgerald from the UK being second, only one point behind Switzerland, behind Celine Dion. She was the big newcomer, no one knew her before, and he was really known back then. And Celine Dion started her world career after her Eurasian victory. Only one point. I remember. No, I don't remember because I wasn't alive then, but I know this because I am a Eurovision fan, so. And we know this as fans. You know. <laughs> Why do I always get it wrong? This is always me, or not always, but this is me and some exams at school? Probably. <laughs> France, Joël Ursule, white and black. And we are in the 90s. Liam Rayleigh, somewhere in Europe. Not only somewhere, guys, you are in Sacra, Croatia. But this song is good. It has a beautiful melody. Okay, now in the years when Ireland won three times in a row. And in the first year Ireland won in this series, France was the runner up. And then the UK. Michael Ball, one step out of time, okay? This is good. And UK again in the second, in Miles Street. This is good. Okay, Poland. This was their debut in uh, Dublin in 1994. They never ended up as good as with Edita Gorniak. So uh, this is like first and only time being second 
everything else was worse, so they did never win. Probably in the future of the contest. Well, conmigo, 1995, actually in the year when a country won that is not Ireland, so. Norway won back then. And Norway was runner up in 1996. Oh. This is good. E80 get. Okay, and then Ireland again, second. Mark Roberts, Mysterious Woman. The Sweden of the 90s. Okay, and Sweden is the island of the 2010s, so... <laughs> Okay, where are you? This is known as well. At least I know the song. Oh, Iceland. Runner up in 1999. Ten years later, again a second place. 1999, it was Sweden. Which won? Ten years later, Norway. Sorry, the victory. We are the 2000. New millennium. Alsu from Russia. She was the big favorite, but then the two from Denmark won. As a big surprise, only 12 with the betting odds, but in the end, they won. Denmark. They won in 2000 and the year after, second place. And this is really good. I prefer this. To the, it's better than Estonia, I would say. Ira, Ira Losko from Malta. We remember her from 2016 from Stockholm. In 2002, she was there as well. It was good. Urban Trat from Belgium. One of the best entries of this century so far, I would say. This is so beautiful. This is really good. Sergio Joksimovic, Lane Moye. He's a Eurasian icon as well, I would say, because he returned the um, Eight years later with her third place. And Lana Moya was beautiful. I prefer this as well. It's my opinion better than the winner was Lana. I'm sorry. Malta. Beautiful ballad. She can sing, definitely. Really good. But it's a good at Greece one because I prefer Elena Paparizzo. My number one is just everything. Dima Bilan, never let you go. But well, the audio you are better, definitely. The song is good, but I don't know if this staging was good with this piano. Verka Serushka, Dancing Laja Tumbai. Do I have to comment this? This is. If Eurovision fans have to choose a Eurovision anthem, this would win. Definitely. It is everything. No words. <laughs> Annie Loak, Ukraine, Shady Lady. Again, I did not like. Russia that much. It was good, but I prefer Ukraine in 2008. This is good. The mirrors. Three years later, UK used it. And 11 years later, Russia. Is it true by Joanna? This is beautiful. 
This is really good. So much better than Fairy Tale. And I know Fairy Tale won so by a landslide, but sorry. Manga from Turkey. Good message. Good song. Good vocals. This performance looked like a music video. But Lena was better, I would say. Sorry. Rafael Gualazzi, Madness of Love. Why Madness of Love, but he sings totally in Italian. Only Italian, so I don't get this. And it's not my music. This is this is really good, I would say. I just, but not my music. Russia! <laughs> this is this is the best fashion entry ever. One of the best Eurasian entries of this century. This is... This makes it perfect. Amazing. And... Azerbaijan, hold me. Good entry. I first did not understand why second place, why that high. But now, after years, I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, it's good. Top 5, top 3 is deserved. And a common Linnard, second place in 2014 for Netherlands, out of nothing. No one ever accepted them to end up that high. The big dark horse, together with Conchita, and both so deserved. So deserved. Russia, Polina, Gagarina, a million voices. Well, Heroes is basically my life, so I won't say that it's better than Heroes, but it would be a good, a great Eurasian winner as well. It has a good message, he can sing, this performance is great. I understand why they voted for Russia. Dummy M, Sound of Silence. Why did she not win? Why? Wah! This is so good. Great song, great voice, gorgeous vocals. Chamada was good as well, but during the voting I was like, please win us, please win Australia. Well, and Christian Kostov, beautiful mess. I first did not really like it that much, I was like, okay, this is good, but is it really, I mean, top 10 probably, but really that good? I like Maker's favorite, or at least really high. But now I really like it. I really, really love it even. And Fuego and Eleni. I mean, uh, this is, I would say, even better than Euphoria. I would say it's better than Euphoria. Fuego, really good. And Soldi, last but not least, Italy. Only 26 points less, or 27 points, and then Duncan Lawrence. Such a great act. If Italy won, it would be so deserved. But second place for Mahmoud. And now we are through this video. Another long video. So well, but this is great to react to the history of the Eurovision Song Contest. And now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about a song? Who is your favorite one or up? What is your favorite memory, probably? So please let me know it in the comments down below. And I now know that the light's getting... Well, really, really, it's really getting dark here in my room. So it's time to end this video. Thank you for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up. It would be really nice. And... Also, it would be great if you subscribe to this channel. I would be really happy. And then, have a good time. See you soon, next week, in my next video. And then, well, bye.